Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are currently getting ready to hit the road and head to Oklahoma. We are going to visit my aunt and uncle who live there and we are also going to the Pioneer Woman store. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for the trip. starting to load up and uh, somebody decided they were coming with us. There's a little visitor in there. Hey! <laughs> Are you going to Oklahoma with us? <laughs> hey, what you doing, big boy? Oh, you think you're coming? Okay, so we're having a debate over baby animal names, like what they're called when they're babies. So Taylor, what is a horse baby? A fowl. A fowl. A fowl. <laughs> a fowl. <laughs> What's a kangaroo? A kangaroo. Uh, it's a, a it's kang a, it's a no. no. It's a joke. Yeah, ding, 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 point for Nana. A hippopotamus. It's the same as another animal that we see like every day. It starts with a C. Cat. A cow. A cow. Oh, okay. It's the same <laughs> as a cow. Oh my god. A mouse. Mice. No. A mouse lick. I don't know. I should know this. I read a story about this. It's a pup or a pinky. A pinky. A pinky. That's what it's that's what it says. A porcupine. I don't know. Pork pet. It is. A pork a pet. Yes. <laughs> pork a pet. I'm not playing. It says pork a pet. Hell yeah. You are so smart. You are so smart. That is the only one you've gotten right. <laughs> it's the hardest one. A sheep. Sheep pet. Uh, oh, we already discussed this one. Oh, no. A sheep. A sheep. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you guys got me doing all kinds of other stuff. I can't think of the basics. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, excuses, Mom. A frog or toad? What are they when they're babies? Tadpole. There we go. Ding, ding. <laughs> a dang, tang. Well, I can think of lamb, but I can think of that one. Go figure. An oyster baby. Nobody's going to guess this. A pearl. It's a spat. <laughs> a hell what? <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this episode. <laughs> of car talks with the Stockmans. <laughs> on the way to Oklahoma. On the way to Oklahoma. <laughs> go straight. Come on. Let's go. We made it to our hotel. 208. Two, oh, God. Look at the sign. Where's it at, Taylor? 208. <laughs> Come on. Everybody. Today, my sister, my mom, and I are going to the Pioneer Woman store in Pawhuska, Oklahoma. And then we're also going to go to her ranch where she films her shows. And we're going to try to go to one of her restaurants. It's a bulldog and a puppy. It's a cooper.
So we are at P-Town Pizza, which is the Pioneer Woman's pizza place right next to the Merc. And I'll show you guys what we got. These are the Not Knots. I don't know what that is. Is that ranch? And marinara sauce. It looks so good. Moment of truth. <laughs> guys, I don't care where you live, you need to come here and eat one of these. <laughs> Here's the pepperoni pizza. Oh, that's like awesome. Yeah. Look at that grease. <laughs> I'm gonna drink it. This is the pizzeria. It has pesto, basil, what else? Balsamic and cherry tomatoes. Goat cheese. Two or three kinds of cheeses. Yeah. So good. Oh, this is the lodge right here. It's right here. Look at all the freaking cars. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. So we are at the Pioneer Woman Lodge, and that is right over there. But look at all of this behind me. It's so pretty. It's so open. <laughs> this is her pantry. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Look, it even has a ladder. All these spices. Oh my god. Bree, will you please adopt me? <laughs> this is where she cooks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, baby. Oh my god! Hi! Oh my god! Okay, so we're in the room where she keeps all of her props for the shows. Those rock looking things. Those are buffalo. <laughs> Mom, stop driving it's super bouncy. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm oh my god, it's coming over here. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm going to get my pants. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Okay, correction from earlier. These are bison, not buffalo. <laughs> This is so close. It's literally right next to the car. Oh my god, this is happening right now. Oh my god. He's literally coming to me. Mom, I don't know if we should do this. <laughs> guys we finally made it back from Oklahoma yesterday and right now I'm going to be showing you everything that I got while shopping in Oklahoma if you don't want to watch this or you don't care go ahead and go to the next video fine with me but we're gonna get started right now so the first place that I'm starting with is the pioneer woman store it's called the Merc it is in Pawhuska Oklahoma and I myself am completely obsessed with pioneer woman I watch her every single day when I'm drinking my coffee in the mornings so getting to go to her store and buy some of her stuff was a pretty big deal to me. The first thing that I got from there was this shirt. It just says Pahuska and it has a bison on it. Then I also got this mug from her store. It's the same on both sides. I just like the floral design on it. Then I got this. It's like a shovel for when you are chopping up stuff and putting it in a pan instead of shoveling it with your hands or scooping off the cutting board with a knife. You just take this, scoop it all up, and drop it on the pan. The last thing I got from the Merc is this wall decoration. It is a quilted map of the US. It's really big. 
<laughs> I tried to hang it on my wall earlier, but it fell. So we're gonna try that again later. The next place we went to was a small boutique right down the road from the Pioneer Woman's store. And I got this super cute cardigan. It looks like this. And it has the floral design on the sleeves and through the whole bottom of it. And after going to the Pioneer Woman store and shopping around Pawhuska, we went to the Tallgrass Prairie Bison Preserve. And there we saw probably about 250 to 300 bison. Then we went to the visitor center before we actually saw any bison. Or no, we had seen a few, but we went to the visitor center just to be like, hey, where are they at? And there I found this shirt. <laughs> I kind of have a running joke of where I wear shirts with big animals on them and it has tie-dye, but yeah. And the next place we went to was Steinmart in Edmond, Oklahoma, and I bought these super cute Crocs. <laughs> I like shoes that I can just slip on and go take whiskey outside or just slip on and go anywhere instead of having to put on shoes and tie them and all that, so I got some Crocs. And also at Steinmart, I got a new quilt because Whiskey has torn our quilt up that I got from college. It's been a while, so it was time for new bedding. After Steinmart, we went to several resell it places as well as a few more boutiques. So I'm just going to show you everything I got from there because I don't remember which stores I got them from. I got this cute shirt and this tank top with a cute little pocket these navy snakeskin flip-flops a three-quarter sleeve blouse that has some stuff like lacy stuff on the bottom a white tank top that has an open back right here and then it's also cut on the bottom i found this shirt on clearance super cute long comfortable i can wear with leggings <laughs> these socks <laughs> it says my dog is cool as F. I'm not going to say it on here, but you can read it. And I also got this white bandeau. Can't go wrong with a bandeau. And I like to feel like a chef sometimes, especially watching Pioneer Woman every day. So I got these cute little, they're like marbled salt and pepper shakers. They're in these really fancy containers where you just pinch it out. <laughs> I'm embarrassing. <laughs> So got these navy shoes because I wear oh they're Sperry's I didn't even know that well they were only $15 for pretty much brand new Sperry's they're gently worn but I love me some Sperry's and slip on shoes then lastly we went to Goodwill which was right across from my aunt and uncle's house and sometimes at Goodwill you can find good stuff you just have to dig and I found this Mustang t-shirt. It's super comfy. It was in the men's section, but it fit me perfectly. I wore it on the way home, so I probably need to wash it. But yeah, that's my shopping haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! And for those of you who are still watching, thank you so much. I am also planning to do another giveaway once I hit 200 subscribers. That's a little bit away. We're about 80 away I think I'm at 120 subscribers so once I hit 200 I will be picking somebody who has subscribed and commented on a video so be sure to do that